chiropractic, most people think of it deals with muscles, bones, and joints. But really what we're dealing with is the nervous system. We're dealing with an impact to the central nervous system. Anything that your body gets, has, or needs to be treated is noticed, mediated, and is precipitated by the function of your nervous system, your hormonal system, and then of course your immune system, which is basically controlled by the nervous system. Symptoms, diseases, all that stuff is not a healthcare marketplace, but it's a sickness care marketplace. And that's how people are programmed. They're programmed by watching TV, or listening to drugs, to take something when they have a symptom, when they have an issue, when they have a problem. What I consider the sickness care market treats specific diseases without looking at the global picture. What the healthcare market does, or where chiropractic falls into it, or what we call the vitalistic care market, things like chiropractic, acupuncture, and homeopathy, doesn't, don't treat the specific disease, but we deal with the person's imbalances. What is important to us is how the nervous system is dealing and functioning with that disease. And once we change what we consider the tone, in essence, of the nervous system and how it mediates itself, then the body, given the right opportunity, obviously can heal itself. So for example, I tell my patients, they, you know, they say, oh, you chiropractors, you say you can cure all disease and everything. No, we never say that. We don't mean that. We're not even touching that ground. We don't say we can cure all diseases. We always tell people that we can help them because we can help increase the threshold at which their nervous systems function and make it a higher threshold, which means a bit more resistance. So, for, so if you come to my office or you come to most chiropractors' office, our goal, our expertise is that nervous system, how it's functioning or how it's not functioning, and we want to repair that function. Right. The next step is a personal responsibility. What are you going to do to make that change? You know, what are you going to do to support the change that I do? So the other piece that I think that happens and why chiropractic is so effective is as people's nervous system starts to increase its functional capabilities, they start to feel better, they start to understand what health is, and they just innately start to make the right choices. So and again, studies show that most what we call subluxations or aberrant neurological patterns occur within the first seven years of life. And there has been proof that if those patterns are not changed or corrected within those first pat several years of life, then that person will function in a compensatory state for the rest of their life. That I just did a piece um, for WBZ-TV on ADHD. Right. They came to my office and um, they interviewed me and we had some patients whose children had brought to me for ADHD, they're on, me on medication for um, it. Kids with ADHD have lower brainwave patterns, what they call theta waves, um, kind of like when you're in that spacey state. And what happens is they get in those states more often than most of us. So what their brain starts to do is it pushes itself up or has to, to wake up into what they call beta states, which are higher states. So their body is constantly falling back down, going back up, falling back down. So the drugs for ADHD are basically speed. And what they do is they speed up the brain so they're at beta wave all the time, but they also cause anxiety. Chiropractic and other things, chiropractic adjustments, what they tend to do is they create a feedback loop into the brain that allows the brain wave patterns to increase on their own naturally so that the child will then stay in a more stable beta state and not keep dropping back and forth. So there's innumerable ways that subluxation occurs. The philosophical context is that when the body meets a force outside of itself that it's unable to adapt to and then therefore the only way you can adapt is to kind of short circuit. It's a circuit breaker. So if you overload the system, just like if your house, if you plug in too many things and overload the system, your circuit breaker flips. So it's a safety feature. It's a safety feature. And how does it occur? Traumatic birth injuries, C-sections, forceps deliveries, long labor, back labors, kids falling down flights of stairs, falling off a change of table, peewee soccer, peewee hockey, um, bad food, chemical sensitivities can cause subluxations. They affect the sympathetic nervous system. They cause that to short circuit. So anything in our environment that we have a hard time adapting to. That's, you know, you're a little kid and you're learning to play soccer and all of a sudden the coach thinks at four years old your neck is strong enough to do a header. Do a header. It's not. There's yes. no ligaments. There's no muscles there. Yeah. There's not enough ligaments there. The yeah. bones aren't even bones till you're 20 years old. Yeah, the joints aren't ready. Yeah, the joints aren't ready for that. So there's a chronic subluxation pattern mm -hmm. in the making. Like I said, most of them the body corrects, otherwise we die. It's those 5% or 10% that the chiropractor has to help to remove the interference. Right. People bring their babies to their doctor to get checked. There's a you know new baby checkup, and they measure them, and they measure their head, and they take their birth weight, and they you know do whatever tests that the medical profession has assigned. Nobody checks their spine. Right. Sometimes the baby's absolutely fine. I'm not saying we're always going to find something and every birth is traumatic, right. but they get a check. What, what so is, that's the other thing. When you're looking for a pediatric chiropractor, then you want to, ICPA is a good place, so do USA is a good place, but you want to make sure the person probably knows what they're doing. There's a whole different skill set in taking care of pediatrics. It's just like you wouldn't go to, you wouldn't go to a geriatric cardiologist to have your baby checked. Right. 
you'd yeah. go to a pediatric chiropractor, someone who knows what they're doing. That's very important. Yeah, I it's think it's extremely important. important. Yeah.